Many of our subscribers has requested to make video on arithmetic ability questions. So based on their request, this video is made. Welcome to Satu Kari 2.0 online nursing channel. This video gives you 10 questions from arithmetic ability, which was asked in previous RRB recruitment exams. This video will help you to get knowledge how to solve your sum in a very easy and in a very fast way. Before going to see this questions, please subscribe to Satu Carrier 2.0 online nursing channel. If you have not yet subscribed, also click the bell icon to get the latest notification about our new videos. Let's go for the first question of the day. What should come in place of question mark in the following questions? 3.4 into 85 divided by 25 is equal to what? So, such question when it comes, you must think about board mass rule. Board mass rule tells that first we need to simplify the numbers inside the bracket, but here we don't have any numbers inside the bracket. So followed by that board mass D M A S. So here division has to solve first, followed by that multiplication. And if there is addition and subtraction is that, then it has to be done next. So 3.4 into 85 divided by 25 is equal to put what? Option A 10.56, B 11.56, C 12.56, D 13.56. Let's see how to solve this sum. 3.4 into 85 divided by 25. So when you divide 85 by 25, it gives 3.4. So 3.4 into 3.4 gives 11.56. So option B, 11.56 is right answer. Let's go for second sum. So same here, which number comes in place of this question mark? So cube root of 4096, 4096. Option A, 16, B, 12, C, 18, and D, 22. How we take the cube root of this number? Let's see the way to solve. So you have to go for dividing this number in this fashion. 4096 is divisible by 4, which gives 1024. Again, when it divided by 4, it gives 256, which divided by 4 gives 64. And 64, when it divided by 4, gives 16. And the 4 into 4 gives 16. So now count the 4. There are 6 fours. So I am writing like that. 4 into 4 into 4 divided by 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 divided by 4. So now the common number in both side is 4. So I am taking 4 into 4 is equal to 16. So option A, 16 is the right answer. Hope you got clear. Question number 3. What should come in place of question mark in the following question? 12 into 10 into question mark is equal to 960. 960. So this question mark is replaced by which number in this series? A, 6, B, 7, C, 8, D, 9. So now the solution 12 into 10 into question mark is equal to 960. So keep the question mark in the left hand side and take all the number in the left hand side to the right hand side. So it automatically goes down. Question mark is equal to 960 divided by 12 into 10. So we can write like this 96 divided by 12 when you cross the zero in numerator and denominator it is 96 divided by 2 gives 8 so option c 8 is the right answer now question number 4 similarly which number replaces this question mark 15 percentage of 250 plus question mark plus 305 is equal to 68. So what is the number going to replace this question mark? A, 15, B, 12, C, 20, D, 10. Now let's see how to solve the sum. So here the 15 percentage can be written like 15 divided by 100. So now if you know that you can solve it very easily. 250 into 15 by 100 that is 15 percentage of 250 plus the question mark divided by 100 because we don't know which percentage is going to uh, come here. 
So we can write like that plus 305 into question mark upon 100 is equal to 68. So now when you divide this, it comes like 37.5 plus 3.05 into question mark is equal to 68. So now 3.05 into question mark is equal to 68 minus 37.5. So this 37.5 comes to our uh, right hand side, it becomes minus. 68 minus 37.5 is 30.5. 3.05, which is in the left hand side, bring it down uh, to the left uh, right hand side. So question mark is equal to 30.5 divided by 3.05, which gives 10. Question mark this is 10. So option D, 10 is the right answer. Hope you got this. Now let's see the fifth sum. So what approximate value should come in place of the question mark in the following questions? Note, you are not expected to calculate the exact value. So don't write the exact value. Don't calculate the exact value here. So 23.001 square, option A, 470, B, 530, C, 650, D, 500. So 23.001 can be written as 23, so 23 square, that is 529. So the closest number to 529 is 530. So option B, 530 is the right answer. Question number 6. What approximate value should come in place of the question mark in the following questions? Note, you are not expected to calculate the exact value. So 33.0003 percentage of 509.99 is equal to question mark. So option A, 155, B, 185, C, 170, D, 100. So which number will come in place of the question mark? So how to solve? Take the nearest number of 33.003, that is 33. So the percentage 509.99 can be written as 510. 510 into 33 divided by 100. So 33 divided by 100 gives 3.3. So here, uh, now 10 we are cutting with 510. So 551 into 33 divided by 10, that is 3.3. So 51 into 3.3 gives 168.3. So 168.3, the nearest flow, uh, raw, the number which gives round figure is 170. So option C, 170 is the right answer hope you got clear question number seven what would be the cost of laying a carpet on a floor which has its length and breadth in the respective ratio of 32 is to 21 and where its perimeter is 212 feet if the cost per square feet of laying the carpet is rupees 2.5 percentage option a Rupees 6720, B 5420, C 7390, and D none of this. So now we are going to calculate the cost for laying a carpet on a floor which has the length and breadth in the ratio of 32 is to 21. The perimeter of the area is 212 feet, and the cost for laying the carpet is. 2.5 rupees per square feet. Now we are going to solve. It takes small time to solve this sum. So in this way you can solve. Let the length and breadth of your floor be 32 x and 21 x respectively. So that we are taking from the question. 32 x is the length and 21 x is the breadth respectively. So the perimeter of the floor, the rectangle, that is 212 feet. And now the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle, that is 2 into LB, that is 2, 2, 2 multiplied by length and breadth. So we can write like 2 into length 32x plus L plus B. LB nahi, L plus B, 32x plus 21x gives the Perimeter. This is written according to the formula. Again, I am telling the formula for perimeter uh, 2 into L plus B, which gives the 
perimeter that is 212 feet now 2 into 32 uh, plus uh, now we are having this 32 x plus 21 x which we can write like this that is 2 into 32 64 2 into uh, 21 that is 42 so that is 106 x plus is equal to 212 so x is equal to 212 divided by 106 hope you got how this 106 comes 2 into 32 that is 64 2 into 21 that is 42 64 plus 42 gives 106 106 x is equal to 212 feet x is equal to 212 upon 106 which gives x is equal to 2 feet so area of the floor the formula is length into breadth so now we know the formula uh, length into breadth the length is 32 x breadth is 21 x so in place of x you put the value 2 so that is 64 into 42 gives 2668 square feet so hence the cost of laying carpet for the square feet of 2668 into 2.5 so 2.5 is rupees for 2.5 rupees the square feet we are going to make a carpet for 2668 then the answer is 6720 so option a 6720 is right so check again the answer will be same question number 8 the simple interest occurred on an amount at the end of 5 years at 12.5 percentage per annum is rupees 1575 what is the amount so the interest after 5 year time that is 5 year is the time and the interest is 12.5 and uh, pre, the amount is 1575 so that is the now we are going to find out what is the principal amount so we can do like that given simple interest value the interest value is 15,075 the time is 5 year and the ratio is rate it is not rate it is ratio ratio is 12.5 percentage per annum ratio is 12.5 percentage per annum so amount is what so the simple interest formula we know simple interest is equal to amount into time into rate sorry amount into time into ratio divided by 100 so substitute all the value simple interest we are having amount we don't know so in the time 5 year and the rate 12.5 divided by 100 so amount is equal to bring this 1575 to the right hand side it comes uh, otherwise you can take all the numbers from the right hand side to the left hand side so amount is equal to 1575 into 100 divided by 5 into 12.5 so by solving this we get the amount is 2520 so this is how we get the answer so the amount is 2520 question number 9 what is the area of a circle whose circumference is 132 centimeter so option a 1562 square centimeter b 1386 square centimeter c 1434 square centimeter d 1836 square centimeter so what is the area of a circle whose circumference is 132 centimeter so here you must know some of the basic formula circumference of a circle is given as 132 centimeter and uh, the circumference of a circle can be written as 2 pi r we know the pi value is constant that is 22 divided by 7 so it can be written like 2 into 22 divided by 7 into r is equal to 132 centimeter now r is equal to 132 into 7 so this number going to the opposite side it becomes uh, ulta that is the 22 goes to to the denominator 7 comes to the numerator 
132 into 7 divided by 2 into 22 which gives r value as 21 centimeter now we have the formula area of circle is equal to pi r square so substitute the value of r here pi value we know already 22 22 divided by 7 22 by 7 into r square 21 into 21 so 22 divided by 7 is 3.14 and 21 into 21 is 441 so that gives the answer 1386 square centimeter so option b is right now the last question of today's video shreyas bought an article and sold it for 125 percentage of it cost of its cost price what was the cost price of the article if shreyas sold it for rupees 3750 so we have the options here so shreyas purchased an article and sold it for 125 percentage of its original cost what was the cost price of the article if shreyas so sold it for 3000 uh, if sold it for 30750 now we want to find the original price of that article suppose the cost price of the article we can take it as x then the according to the formula we can write like that x is equal to we can write in this way uh, this is the percentage this is the percentage value uh, 125 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 3750 this is the amount which he sold so now x is equal to 3750 into 100 divided by 125 you know very well this 100 goes in the right hand side it goes to the uh, top and we have the numerator 125 as denominator now so 3750 into 100 divided by 125 which will give the x value as 24600 so this is the original rate of this article which Shreyas bought hope you understand this so this is how sums will be asked in the rrb exams you must practice to solve all kind of sums practice makes a man perfect Thanks for watching this. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you. Bye-bye.